For this Miyashiko's quest, it says you have to bounce on five bouncy objects. So the best way to do this is to go to this spot right here, which is called uh, Sunswoon Lagoon. That's the new uh, landmark. And basically in this spot, you're going to find umbrellas. You're going to find floaties and you're going to jump on top of them. So that's one. That's two. This is, come on, this is number three. And there's two floaties here. And that's four. This is five. And this is number six, because why not? So it doesn't really say to uh, that they have to be different. But like uh, You probably can just jump on the same one five times. But yeah, that's the basic idea. Like I said, just make your way to the spot. Jump on five bouncy objects uh, as such. And that should be the quest. For this Moyashikol's quest, it says you have to survive falling from five stories or higher. So basically, you just pick a building that has at least five stories. So you can go to that building right there. Or this building right here. We'll try this one right here, for example. So basically, you just want to make your way to uh, Mega City right here, this location. So here we are. This is the building. Let me just ping it for you on the map exactly, just so you know. So it's going to be this building. And it's easily like more than five stories. And to survive the fall, all you have to do is either, um, like either aim for a trash can or use these uh, grind rails. I'm just going to do this and we're going to just jump like this. So that's five stories as you can see. And we survive. It's literally as simple as that. And if you want to be like more uh, creative about it, if you find like a, a trash can like close by, you can just use that as a buffer and you can just jump on top of it. And yeah, this is the basic idea. Just do this and that should be the quest. For this Miyasuko's quest, it says you have to damage opponents with pistols or or sniper rifles or heavy sniper rifles actually. Let me just tame this. So as you saw right there, dealing he damage with heavy sniper rifles uh, with uh, pistols is much, much easier. So easily grab yourself a tactical pistol. Go ahead and just deal damage to players. Also, it helps if you um, if you upgrade the pistol. So if I go here, I can go to the nearest upgrade bench and make it a legendary variety, which will deal more damage. Here we go. So you can just come here and you can just upgrade it, as you can see right here. And maybe make it epic or legendary and just go around deal damage. I highly recommend doing this. It's way, way easier than doing it with the heavy sniper rifle because, you know, you will you, most likely miss. Like 90% of the time you're going to miss. And it's going to be hard to deal damage. Also, I highly recommend doing this in Team Rumble mode because it is much easier to deal damage with it in that mode. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Just do that and that should be the quest. For this uh, Miyashiko's quest, it says you have to gain 500 shield, which is rather simple. All you have to do is just come to these like strip trucks. There's several of them all around the map. I'm going to show you their locations. So basically, you're going to find these strip trucks. You're going to destroy them. And each one is going to give you full shields. So you get 100. There we go. And then as soon as you just go ahead and fight somebody, maybe get take some damage and then go back and shield up again. So let me just show you the uh, locations for all these strip trucks. Let me just hide here. Come on. <laughs> all right. So this strip truck is right here. There's another strip truck at, slurp, uh, at Restaurant Street right over here. Another slurp track on this bridge at Slappy Shores and another slurp track at Brutal Bastion right here. So this is like the easiest way to shield up. But of course, you can use the normal like potions and the uh, like the uh, like standard uh, like the standard consumables that give you uh, give you shields. You need to gain 500 shields in total and that should be the quest. For this Miyasuko's quest, it says you have to collect three fish. So basically, just go to any fishing spot that you like. Uh, you can go to Slappy Shores. You can go to this spot right here. Those are very like uh, like random, and people don't really land there. Or of course, you wanna you can go also here. So this is the Sunswoon Lagoon PY, as you can see, and just grab yourself a fishing rod, and you can just you know fish inside the fishing holes. And uh, it doesn't even have to be like uh, using a fishing hole. So let's go here. This should give us uh, at least two. So that's the first fish, as you can see. That's one. We need to collect three in total. Come on, come on, come on. And that's two. Let me collect that. Let me just grab uh, both at the same time, actually. And number three. Hopefully it's not a weapon. <laughs> I need a fish. Come on, come on. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. And that's the third fish, as you can see. So yeah, this is the basic idea. Just collect yourself three fish. It's literally one of the easiest quests to do. As you can see, there's all three of them. And yeah, let's just get the, just do this and that should be the quest. For this Miyasuko's quest, it says you have to flip a car. It's a rather difficult thing to do, but as long as you know where to find the car, it's not really that far to do. So just make your way to this spot right here, the racetrack north of Mega City. And you're going to find all types of cars. There's a, uh, a semi over there, but you just need a normal car. We're going to go here. Also, you have to do this in, uh, in build mode because you need to build a ramp. So we're going to build a ramp here. Let's just make it a little bit solid. Alright, it doesn't need to be uh, this tall, actually. 
Yeah, this is more than enough. I'm just gonna grab the car. And we're gonna try to uh, flip it like this. And there we go. I did not expect to get it on my first try. <laughs> but that's the basic idea. Of course, it has to be like, it has to stay flipped. Uh, you can just keep trying this over and over again. I'm just gonna do this. Let's try to uh, get it flipped like permanently. Here we go. There it is. And it should kick me out of the car. As you can see, you just need to flip it again. You can just, you know, use it, use the, uh, like, interact with it and just flip it like this. And yeah, this is the basic idea. It's really a very easy thing to do as long as you know how to do it. Just do that and that should be the quest. For this Miyasuko's quest, it says you have to travel from Kenjutsu Crossing all the way to Naughty Nets without touching water. So basically, this is Kenjutsu Crossing. As you can see, we're going to go and land there. And we're going to make our way to this spot right here. So we don't, you don't have to, uh, like, uh, like you cannot, like, touch water at all. I'm going to show you a really uh, nice way to do this. So here we go. So we're just going to land here just uh, for it to register that we did land at Kinjutsu Crossing. And then we're just going to exit. I'm going to go to the gas station right here. All right. So this counts as landing. Now we're going to bounce. We need the car because uh, we don't want to walk all the way to their side. Here we go. So that's the gas station. I'm going to show you what to do exactly. Come on, come on. I don't like the fact that I don't have a weapon, but hopefully I'll find one on the way. Okay, here we go. We got ourselves an SMG. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, we're gonna grab a vehicle. And we're gonna bounce. Okay. So let me just ping the spot that we're gonna go to. It's gonna be this spot. Here we go. Come on, dude. Alright. So there's the spot. So as you can see, there's uh, naughty nets right there. But we cannot touch water, so all of this is out of the question. Of course, if you're playing build mode, you can just build. <laughs> but let's say you are playing zero build and you like a challenge. You can just go here. And as you can see, there's a zip line here that actually... No, 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 no. Ah! Dude, I almost touched water, man. <laughs> <laughs> just by accident so as you can see there's a zip line here that takes you literally that it links between like these two puis and there's another one right here as you can see so right there i'm just gonna do this and here we are at naughty nets as you can see we did not touch water another way to do this is to use geysers so the spot where i came from there's actually a geyser that, geyser that you can use here it is so we can use this to go up Let's just wait for it to, um, like, activate again. Come on, come on, come on, come on, send me up. Come on. Let's go, okay, here we go. So you can also use the geyser, as you can see, and just make your way to the PUI. Or, like I said, the third and final way, it's the zipline on this side. There's actually a geyser behind it as well. So yeah, that's like at least four ways to do it. It's really, really simple. Just make sure to grab the um, like the bike from the gas station. It's very easy to do. And yeah, here we go. We're at Naughty Nets without touching the water. It's as simple as this. For this Miyasuko's quest, it says you have to carry a full stack of ammo for 10 uh, meters. So basically, you need to have yourself full ammo. And one of the best ways to do that is to literally go to the Munitions Expert uh, NPC, which is this NPC right here. So they're going to be located right over here at Fallow, whatever. I forget the, the rest of the name, but it's basically this gas station right here. And uh, once, once you hire them, make sure you hire them for 200 uh, gold. As you can see, uh, from time to time, they're going to, um, like every, I think, 10 seconds, I think, or something like that. Uh, they should be uh, like throwing you some ammo. So th this time they threw me some grenades. I'm just going to take that. I'm just going to wait ahead a little bit. And they should give me ammo. Come on, come on, come on. Also, another best way to uh, like reach max ammo is to literally go to uh, vending machines and buy the ammo from the machine itself. Let's wait here. They should give me in a second. It shouldn't take like more than... Yeah, there we go. All right. So as you can see, 30 ammo right there. I think the max ammo for, uh, for assault rifles is uh, 500. So it's going to take a while to reach that. We're at 90 right now. Uh, but yeah, like I said, you can just also go to vending machines. This one is a vending machine, so we can't really buy ammo from it. Uh, but basically in main PUI, such as this one right here, for example, you'll find a vending machine selling you uh, ammo and you can just buy it from the vending machine itself. And yeah, there's also the uh, the normal way of doing this, which is to literally like eliminate as many players as you can and collect ammo from them. And then you literally just walk. You just walk for 10 meters. It's literally as simple as that. So these are ten this is like 8 meters. 10 meters so once you have uh, like full ammo a full stack of ammo as you can see he's, he keep, she keeps giving me like ammo and i have 30 
and you just walk this 10 meters it's literally as simple as this just the only problem here is collecting the ammo itself so make sure you get yourself a max sta uh, full stack of ammo travel 10 meters and that should be the quest for this Miyazuko's quest, it says you have to get eliminated nine times. But basically, it's a play on the uh, nine lives of a cat. So we just need to accept death. <laughs> so there was somebody shooting at me here. I don't know where they went, but you basically just find yourself somebody who is willing to kill you, which is not that hard to do. I'm pretty sure he was here. He should shoot me. Yeah, there we go. There he is. Hey there, buddy. Just going to accept death. Here we go. Come on, man. I'm right in front of you, dude. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Right here. Right here. One more. And you got this. There it is. So we need to literally accept death nine times. Let somebody kill you. It's as simple as that. Just land uh, near somebody who is like uh, landing at a hot drop. I highly recommend just going to this spot right here, Mega City. Because if you don't know, Mega City would never have bots inside of it. So everybody who lands here is basically going to be a sweat. And they're going to kill you really, really fast. So yeah, get yourself uh, like killed in the game nine times. And that shows with the quest. For this Miyazuko's quest, it says you have to deal 7,500 damage to players. Which is a lot. Especially if you're doing this like in normal mode. As you can see. Come on. So yeah, that was around 200 damage. The basic idea is for you to deal 7,500. So I highly recommend doing this either in team rumble mode or zero build mode. Because people cannot like build and hide. So you can just keep dealing free damage to them. Uh, but yeah, the better way and the best way to do this is to jump into a team rumble mode game. Grab yourself a good like uh, assault rifle. Go ahead and upgrade it and an upgrade bench. Uh, upgrade benches can be found at each main PUI, like named location. So you can go ahead and upgrade the weapon and just, you know, keep dealing damage until you hit 7,500 and that should be the quest. It is as simple as that.